So today I'm going to teach you how to knit a basic sock. I know this is a really intimidating thing to learn to knit and it's especially hard when you find a pattern but there's no tutorials included. So today I'm going to walk you through all the steps in order to knit your first sock. So a vanilla sock just means that it's all knitting. There's no stitch pattern to follow or anything like that. It's just very, very basic. So this pattern has a heel flap and gusset. So it's worked from the top down. So you start at the cuff up here, work your way down. Now this looks really complicated, I know, but just a little bit of short rows, which I will walk you through. And I'm gonna walk you through every step of this sock to make it really nice and easy for you. This pattern is worked using worsted weight yarn. I think it's really great for beginners to learn the techniques in the fastest, easiest way possible. And worsted weight yarn is our ticket for that. This will take you no time to knit up because of how big the yarn is. Now the yardage will vary based on the size and the length of the foot, but the sample, which is size three, right in the middle, took approximately 150 yards, 137 meters of worsted weight yarn. Now, if you buy your yarn at a big box store, it might not be called worsted. It might be called medium or medium number four. So I'm using, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. This is my favorite budget friendly yarn. It's only $4.99 and you get a whopping 355 yards, 325 meters in a 200 gram ball. For needles, you'll need a set of circulars because we will be working this magic loop. You'll need a set of circulars that are a US 5, 3.75 millimeter in 32 inch 80 centimeter length or longer or a size needed to match gauge. You'll also need a yarn needle and some stitch markers. The gauge is worked in stockinette in the round and you'll get 17 stitches, 26 rounds per four inches, 10 centimeters. As mentioned before, this pattern is written for six sizes. There's enough of a range that you can knit this for men or women. There are six sizes and they're written in sequence like this. And if you've never seen a sizing structure like this, I'll explain it. So there are six sizes written in order from left to right. If you wanted to knit size two, it would be here where I've put it in bolded text. And in the pattern, it will always be in the second slot in the instructions. I recommend choosing a size with half an inch to one inch or 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters of negative ease. Ease basically just refers to how loose or how tight a knitted item will be. For socks, you will need negative ease. So you want them to be a little bit smaller than your foot so they have to stretch to fit. So to start, measure your foot circumference and subtract either half an inch, 1.5 centimeters, or one inch, 2.5 centimeters from your actual measurement. Pick a size close to that circumference. For example, my foot circumference is nine inches, 23 centimeters. So I would subtract one inch, 2.5 centimeters from that. So nine minus one equals eight. So I would choose size two, eight inch circumference. And everything you need to knit this sock is in this video. If you're watching the cut up version where it's in parts, it's all in this part series. While this is a beginner sock pattern, I'm assuming that you know how to knit one and purl one and do a basic cast on. But if you don't know how to work a knit stitch or a purl stitch, I think this pattern will be a little bit too advanced for you. And I suggest that you go practice knitting and purling. Knit something really, really basic for a little bit just to get the knit stitch down and then come back here. If you would like a written pattern, you can find that for free here. It's a dollar on Etsy just to cover some fees, but that is totally optional. You can follow this video exactly and learn how to knit a sock without ever buying anything. 